Our little baby chicks will be two weeks old tomorrow and they are doing so good. Everyone survived. They're getting their little feathers. Oh, aren't they cute? Just doing great. They are really fun. Well, these cuties are a little over a month old now, and we had planned to move them outside, but we've got some cold weather again, and it's going to be sticking around for the next 10 days or so. So we just expanded their area, and um, we'll just see how it goes. We're not really set up to put them in our current um, chicken house because we've got big girls in there, and we're afraid they'll get beat up. So anyway, this is our plan for now. They are getting so big, all feathered out, getting some cones on them. Cute. All right, this here is Casey, and she is a first freshener. She is due to kid one month from today, so she'll be getting a CD and T shot, and uh, some selenium and vitamin E gel, and also an udder shave. So she's all clipped, and um, what a cute little udder she's got going on there. I am so excited for her to kid. One month. We are switching pastures today, so I haven't let the babies out yet, and we're getting ready to open this area up for them. And Jim moved over a couple of rocks yesterday something else for them to climb on. So let's get this opened up, see if they like it. Come on, everybody. Come on out. Even the big girls are interested. We've got a lot bigger rocks than that. It's just having the equipment to move it. But that's pretty good size for babies. They figured it out right away. herd looks huge with all these kids. 14 kids and 9 does. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There's Taffy and Jax and Pixie. Goats love things to climb on. Even Luna's wanting to play.
The kids really like the rocks, honey. And they're close enough together they can jump from one to the other. I gotta tell you, I am loving this buckling pen. We have weaned Charo's four boys and just last night we separated Luna's boys permanently um, to get them weaned. Everyone will be leaving for their new home pretty soon and I don't like to send them off unweaned. I think that's unfair to the buyer. So. We deal with all the screaming babies and screaming moms for them. But anyway, the boys just love that doghouse. During the day, they lay on top of it. And... Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Poor babies. Anyway, during the day, they lay on top of it in the sun. And um, when, they're, when they get their bellies full and they want to go and crash, they all climb inside the doghouse and cuddle up together, it is just so cute. But they've got that little yard out there, which is really nice too, so it's working out great. Gotta tell you a cute story about the bucklings. Um, night before last, Jim went to milk out Charo and one side of her udder was completely empty, it was drained. So we, uh, when we built the buckling pen, we didn't put up any chicken wire on these four by four paddle panels. So anyway, we uh, did that before we let the girls out the next morning, put the chicken wire up and it was so funny. We figured out it was Jax who was doing it because as soon as uh, Charo got out there by the fence, he hit his knees and stuck his head through the fence like, well, tried to stick his head through the fence like he was going to nurse, but he quickly discovered that that chicken wire was not going to allow that. Anyway, it was just funny to watch. Poor little fellas, but they're doing good. They don't really cry much at all um, for Charo. It's mostly just uh, Luna's two boys who are very new to the weaning process. But all in all, everyone is doing great. My poor Juliet over there. 
our gold with white overlay laying down is due um, in just a couple days and she is enormous really really big first freshener and she's got to have triplets at least so uh, just very big very uncomfortable and of course all the uh, dolings are annoying her but <laughs> she's hanging in there speaking of dolings they are getting so big Goodness. There's Maya and Glitter and then Fancy and one of her dolings. I think we got a couple more of them up on the bench there, taking a nap in the sun. We've got the separator still up. We had Liam over there for quite a while. He has joined uh, Apollo now and we're still using that area to put the dolings in at night so that we can milk in the morning. So we moved the chickens again. Um, now I am over here inside the goat barn. This is our third kidding stall where we always uh, stack hay for easy access. We pull it from the barn and put it in here and it doubles as a kidding stall as well. But anyway, we decided to get the chickens out of the cabin and put them over here because it's a bigger space but we're having a heck of a cold snap and um, based on what we've read it's just too cold for them to be uh, in a location that doesn't have some heat so we have a heat lamp for them and this gives them more room to run around and grow and they're all feathered out we've got more boys than we had hoped for we purchased two, and I think we've got five all together. But we've got a neighbor who's going to take uh, two or three of them, so that'll help. But anyway, that's what's going on with the chickens. Well, as you can see, Liam's over there just sunning himself. Him and Apollo have had breakfast, so they're taking it easy. There's my buddy Apollo. How are you doing, Apollo? Hmm? Poor Liam. He cried for the first couple of days after we brought him over here. He was really missing the babies and the moms and <laughs> wasn't happy to be separated from them. But he's doing fine now. Apollo's a good buddy for him. Scarlet, <laughs> you're a mess. Let's go check on the chickens. We've still got our 10 original laying hens. They are three years old and we're not quite sure what we're gonna do with them. Um, our new chicks are just over six weeks old, but they don't really start laying until about five months old. So we don't want to not have eggs. Anyhow, these girls give us plenty of eggs. So I don't know if we'll give them away once our chicks get full grown or keep a few, maybe process a few. I don't know. But we enjoy them. As you can see, our baby chicks are really getting big. As I said, they're just over six weeks old and um, doing just great. This is gonna be the last day for the heat lamp. It was 43 degrees this morning, but going forward, the temps, the low temps are gonna be in the 50s and 60s, so they should be just fine. Uh, did that little rooster just try to crow? Oh my goodness. Are you talking to us, little fella? How cute. That's the first I've heard of that. Yeah? Looks like another male, couple of males right there. Our neighbor did take two of them, but we've still got three males. 
Not really sure what the plan is for them. For now, they're going to stay here. Eventually, they'll get moved over. Anyway, thanks for following along, everybody. We'll catch you later.